Hello everyone, time for one more talking video and I hope this one will be popular as well. My other video about uh, optical cables uh, continues to be uh, watchable so I hope that uh, this will come in handy as well. I've been um, lucky enough uh, to receive uh, some samples from Monos Audio and uh, these are rhodium plated uh, power and RCA plugs and uh, um, this will be the base of, of this video and uh, I'll try to firstly talk about differences uh, between uh, gold plating, rhodium plating and copper, pure copper, and uh, then I'll go into more how uh, I will go into more details about how uh, these particular Monos Audio plugs work for me. I have started this journey on uh, I'm doing a lot of cables now, like uh, manufacturing my own cables, because I got a lot of these old copper wires <clears throat> from uh, from a house installation in, in the neighborhood, and uh, I would estimate they are probably close to 100 year old uh, copper wires. It's not focusing very well, but they are mono uh, copper wire plated with uh, tin and then there is some kind I would guess rubber insulation and then there is cotton insulation and then they are dipped in oil so they are they have this particular smell of oil and um, and I tried them with some other power plugs that I had Actually, I had these Monos Audio copper plugs for a very long time, and and I tried this, tried this wire, and I found that it just doesn't bring much into sound. It's so transparent and so organic. So I started uh, re redoing my cables. These plugs were uh, with another old copper, but uh, on another old copper wire. But um, I had to. Re change it for this one because it just has much better articulation and even though it's monocore it it provides better high frequency extension than the multi multi strand copper so this is i think this is this will not be the last video about cables i have something uh, else coming in uh, in the near future and uh, I will be using also for comparison, I will be using also the same cable. I have a sufficient amount of it and I'm very happy uh, with, with this wire and uh, my uh, friend, let's call him Tape Friend, he is uh, now pursuing um, manufacturing cables from Vovox uh, cables. So he's uh, reassembling them because they don't sell cable by the meter he has to buy but uh, I've um, I like uh, how Vovox cables sound they are uh, a bit a uh, bit brighter a bit more open than this old copper I'm using but uh, it's also a matter of uh, preference and a matter of situation of what you need so yeah, in, in general from what I heard and what I have on hand to compare with this this copper is very very good and uh, I, I don't I don't even uh, um, consider uh, playing with uh, you know contemporary uh, cabling because uh, I know that the copper will be of a different grade it will not be uh, this old copper uh, produced from uh, copper ore. So let's get started. Uh, I'll try to explain at least my experience of gold, uh, copper and rhodium plated plugs, how they differ in sound. Um, 
I would say um, if we start with copper, I think it's uh, it's the 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 most uh, it's the flattest response you can get. It doesn't articulate any part of, of frequency range, and it's uh, very I, I would say truthful representation of of instruments. Although it's I would say copper is pure copper plug is the darkest of all these three options. Um, it's uh, it, it doesn't uh, have this uh, high frequency extension and the bass is rather hard. Let's say. On contrary, if we take uh, gold plugs, in this case these are Furutech and uh, these are original Furutech which I had for, for a very long time and I'm very happy about them. Um, <clears throat> definitely can recommend these uh, gold plugs even though they are not, not uh, on the very high end. Uh, the gold, uh, if we take a base on, 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 on the gold plugs, uh, it's a bit more um, muffled, uh, a bit more in quantity, and gold will have a sweeter top end. I think uh, that goes the same, it goes the same for, uh, for the mid-range as well. And then, if we and if we go into rhodium plating, it has now that I've you know told it that uh, explained how I how I hear copper and gold. I think uh, it has a mix of both. Uh, with rhodium, it has um, a fair amount of base, maybe even the most. The, the quantity of bass is probably the, the, the largest uh, out of three and then it has it doesn't only increase quantity but it increases dynamics in bass it has uh, a lot of punch uh, that's my understanding and my that's how it works in my system it's, it's like very punchy and uh, the bass becomes instead of being muffled it, it becomes grippy um, it has a very, very big sense of um, of space, and I think with these particular Furutech plugs, uh, they, and they have been favored uh, for a while on on my digital setup. They were my main main plugs for the digital. And uh, with these Furutech plugs, I think the sense is that the space extends into depth and with rhodium plated plugs you get um, you get the sound stage in front of you well this could be you know due to different reasons it could be that it's uh, providing more uh, focus on on the top end on the mid-range and it's uh, projecting more towards you uh, but in general I think these plugs in my system uh, they allow for a um, more relaxed listening experience um, and I'm not sure if, if all of us are familiar with that but sometimes when you uh, get to listening a not very well balanced system you get tense you're trying to hear the details and you know you know it's your brain is kind of working to 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 retrieve this information or to understand what's going on and this has been the case uh, recently with uh, Furutech gold plugs I haven't haven't had any other high quality gold plated plugs and you know, my tape friend, he is a bit skeptic about Furutech, and they may be, uh, they may have some sonic qualities that are just uh, specific to them, to to Furutech, and uh, I still have to yet have to find this out and uh, 
test for myself. Yeah, so rhodium, rhodium plugs, I think it's, uh, at least in my situation, um, it's the best of the two worlds in, in terms of power plugs. And I've had these, these Monos Audio uh, copper plugs and the Fortech gold plugs for, for a very long time. So I very well know what, what they do. And this um, has been a pleasant, pleasant finding for me. These rhodium plugs, uh, they are of very high quality. Uh, the the shell is, is fully metal, so they are very heavy. It's actually it feels ridiculous with this uh, rubber thin wire, but it is how it is. Um, Good quality. They they come uh, around a hundred fifty dollars uh, for this set, so they are not the cheapest either. But uh, you know the the problem sometimes with with cheap plugs is that um, you hear some artifacts in sound, some blur, or maybe resonances. Some frequencies may start screaming at you and. Uh, uh, you don't, uh, you cannot, cannot relax while listening to the music. These ones are not the case. I cannot, uh, for now, I cannot tell what wrong they are doing. Um, I, I, I don't hear any, any issues with them, apart from you know the specific sonic signature that Rhodium provides, and then, you know, each, each coating has has its own. Uh, strengths and weaknesses and in the end um, I think it is what it is and you have to balance out with other types of plugs so for for my digital it's it's very simple and I have fully um, I'm, I'm fully using these uh, Monos audio plugs RCA as well uh, and it works well I, I don't have to mix in uh, um, let's say gold RCA plugs or uh, copper RCA plugs because I find that uh, this uh, Rodium version is, is, uh, is a very true representation of, of live acoustic sound as I used to hear it uh, as I'm used to hear it in, in the opera house or in the jazz club so yeah for, for digital it works for analog for my turntable I'm using uh, I'm still using a mix of uh, a variety of different plugs and cables but there's also shielding issue and etc so it's a subject of another video but I started talking about uh, the, the quality of Monos audio plugs uh, and I found a very found it very useful uh, that these uh, particular RCA plugs they are solderless so this is the center pin uh, and it's you screw it in with a hex with a small hex screw and uh, the, the shielding is also a screw in contact so you know any my findings recently are that any material um, whether it's on the cable or around the cable like insulation um, it provides its own sonic signature so for me it's a, a pleasant thing that I can avoid um, soldering and I can avoid a third type of metal in this contact so these uh, screw-in terminals, they actually allow me to hear more what, what the cabling does and what the plug itself does, rather than trying to guess what, uh, what the you know, end result will be with uh, soldering and, and after soldering with whether you know, it's normal tin or, uh, I mean sol soldering or uh, 
let's say some more expensive mandar uh, solder with silver and gold which um, I think that one is, is rather clean sounding and doesn't doesn't provide the, the sonic blur that uh, a more conventional soldering provides uh, these plugs they are also around $150 uh, so, so not the cheapest option either but they are well worth it I think and the, and the power plugs I, I'm talking about these Rhodium power plugs next to these Furutech power plugs because they can compete they are on a similar level so these uh, Furutech plugs this set is around 250 dollars or euros and these Rhodium plugs being cheaper I can I can totally mix them in the system and uh, be confident that you know it's it's the quality that uh, the quality that I'm looking for. I was talking about uh, insulation as well. Uh, if anyone would like to experiment with uh, these cables, this one is. Uh, with I mean with old copper experiments with old copper this one is a is a beer wire it's not uh, insulated in any way in additionally and this one it's I'm using a Tessa uh, cotton tape uh, cotton sticky tape to, to wrap around it because it's uh, this oil is uh, if you don't clean it it's uh, it's getting on your uh, furniture and uh, and it's not very uh, not very convenient so but this one is is already cleaned and dried out so I can I can drag it around but anyway um, this is um, this is this is the the, the findings with uh, boss audio plugs I'm very fond with them very nice addition to my system and uh, I think they will stay for a while um yeah so probably that's uh, that's it for this video if you have any questions or suggestions you're welcome to leave them in in the comments and i'm sure you will and uh, i wish you a nice day and uh, i'm looking forward uh, to further to further findings in the audio hobby journey. Have a nice day. Bye.